I always say to people, ask them a few questions, a few questions only, and I can determine whether they are going to be rich or not. How? Because there are seven key indicators. I call it the seven signs that you will be rich one day. And this is going to be a really, really cool breakdown. That's why we hold events like this because people always ask me, they say, Eric, how is it that you know, you have this knowing that everything is going to be okay? Because at the end of the day, if you don't have the trust and you don't have the belief, it's very hard to actually allow everything to unfold before you. So people always ask me these questions. I decide today, aside from running it with these amazing individuals in this room <laughs> who we just finished with, um, I decided to actually make it so that on YouTube, I can share with you guys these seven signs too. But before we get into it, I've got a new showreel. Are you ready for this? This is actually the showreel we use in our events. Showreel, hit it. Eric Ho is a renowned international speaker, serial entrepreneur, best-selling author, and philanthropist. Eric travels the world and inspires people to live life to their highest potential. He has shared the stage with world-class leaders such as Richard Branson and James Kahn and has shared his teachings with thousands of individuals around the world. From a young age, Eric was determined to succeed. Never the academic type, Eric dropped out of college at the age of 19 and found himself stuck working 100-hour weeks in a burger van. Feeling lost, Eric applied his entrepreneurial passion and through a lot of hard work accomplished his dream of creating a global QSR franchise. Within five years, Eric set up multiple successful businesses and became financially free by the age of 24. With various streams of passive income, supercars, dream houses and other luxuries, Eric was living what seemed to be the perfect life. It was not long after that Eric fell into deep depression, searching for the meaning of life. During a trip to Africa, Eric found his purpose and drive through helping those in need. He founded Age Giving in 2010 and built his own orphanage in Kenya, which today provides home and education for over 300 orphans. Eric's passion for helping others inspired him to share his business experience and knowledge. He began holding motivational seminars and has become a celebrity speaker. He founded H Academy, an inspirational platform that reaches and educates thousands of people around the world. Today, Eric teaches the importance of balance between wealth and happiness. Having gone through his own spiritual path and growth journey, Eric talks about his understanding of modern day spirituality where balance of self-realization, self-mastery and wealth can coexist. Eric is a true life example that living a heart-centered life and generating wealth through serving others can be achieved. Eric has expanded to an exciting and diverse portfolio of businesses from an international swimming academy to a high-end fashion label and is always looking for the next opportunity to invest and serve more people. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Ho. What's up guys, it's Eric Ho here, international speaker, entrepreneur and best-selling author. And in this video, I'm gonna break down for you the seven signs you will be rich one day. Now you're thinking, okay, so what are you gonna do with these signs? Very simple. It's gonna give you a clear indication of your vibrational alignment, your mechanical and physical and spiritual alignment towards money and how I know that whether you're going to be rich or you're not going to be rich. And if you know which ones you are disaligned with, at least then you can make this, the relevant changes to allow it to happen for you. So let's get straight into it. The first thing is environment. By looking at your environment, I can instantly know whether you are going to be rich or not. Why? Because there's a saying that says your network is your net worth. So if you actually take the closest five people around you and you take actually the average annual salary, it's very likely that your salary is very similar to that of the five people. And so your network equals your net worth, meaning that if you want to be rich one day, if you want to be wealthy, it's very important that the people around you, because we are affected by our environment, have a good wealth profile. If not, then you got to change your environment. 
And some of you will be thinking, but Eric, these are my friends. How can I just change my environment? This is not about changing your friends. This is not about defriending or unfriending. This is about changing your peer group, the people you hang around with. Spend more time with people who you aspire to be like. And if it's rich you're going for, then you want to hang around with and spend time with more rich people. And then moving on to the second thing, model. You must find yourself a mentor. You must find yourself someone that you can just model. See how they live. See what their habits are. See every single day what they do. What are their strategies? Because when you have that, that is the easiest way and that's the fastest way for you to actually become rich because you need to be able to have a rich person to be able to model. Okay. Now going on to the third point, BS. You thought it right. It means belief system. The biggest problem is if you don't believe in something, will you take the action? Yes or no? The answer is no. So if you don't believe in something, you won't take the action. If you don't take the action, therefore you will not get a result. It's a very simple formula. Belief leads to action. Action leads to results. You don't have the belief, you won't take the action. Therefore, you won't get the results. So how do you get a result? How do you become rich? You need to have the full belief that you'll become rich. Now, some of you in your, in your conscious mind, you'll be thinking, I do. I think I'm going to become rich. But the biggest problem is not what's in your conscious mind. It's what's in your subconscious mind saying that, oh, but what if it doesn't work out for me? If you have an element of doubt or fear that ever creeps in, that is your subconscious mind speaking to you right now. So we need to understand how to align our belief system and be able to say to ourselves and hold that vibrational frequency where we are very aligned with becoming rich and we totally believe it with every cell of our body because that holds that strong vibration. So that's belief system. Moving on to the fourth thing is our emotional desire. A lot of people, they say they want to become rich, but if they haven't got a why behind it, and always understand that emotion is energy in motion. What does this mean? It means that without a strong enough why, it's very hard to actually reach your goal. Think about it. You don't do things, right, just because you want to do that thing. You do that thing because there's a very, very strong emotional driver. And then emotional drivers, we need to understand there are two main things. One of them being your negative emotional driver. That's what forces us towards action. When we really hate what we're doing right now and it annoys and pisses us off so much that we need to be forced into action. Or our pleasure, our positive emotional driver, which is our dreams, our goals, our desire. We see the outcome so clearly and we have such a strong emotional driver. The stronger your emotions, the faster it is that you're going to get to your goal because that's the strongest emotional desire. Now, moving on to the fifth sign is the language. Now, you're thinking, what do you mean language? I mean, what is the language that you speak on a daily basis? What is the word that comes out of your mouth every single day? When it comes to finances, when it comes to money, are you one of those people who says, oh, I'm going to be rich only if... I am able to do this? Or do you say, oh, if I could only be rich one day? Or do you say, I wish I was rich? Or do you say, but I can't be rich? And if you're saying all these buts and all these negativity, notice your word is vibration. Everything is vibration. Everything is energy and energy is everything. Meaning that we need to be careful what we are putting out verbally. What language are we using to actually attract what we desire? And we need to make sure our language patterns, everything's in positive alignment without all the but and if and hoping. Instead, it's living and saying as if it's happening right now. So need to be careful of the language. Now, the sixth sign is knowing whether this person has the mechanics or not. Because the, a lot of people, what I mean by mechanics is a lot of people... They're very, very motivated. They're, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be success successful. I'm going to be rich. But when it comes to, okay, so what are you going to do about it? Well, I have this plan. I have that plan. I have this plan. I have that plan. When it comes to mechanics, it needs to be focused step-by-step -step strategy. It needs to be focused mechanics here. So you need the exact step-by-step. -step. You need to be focus purely on one thing because what you focus on expands so when i see people who are very disaligned they have so many ideas i know that it's going to be very hard to become rich when people are have that laser focus and know the exact step by step know the mechanics to get there i know that they're going to be rich and the final thing the seventh thing is action 
what action are you taking? Some people, they actually just want to sit there. They want to manifest, manifest, manifest. And it's going to be very hard. I'm not saying it's not possible because I actually made a video on how to actually manifest without taking action. You can check that video out if you wish. But for most people, the brutal truth is it's going to be very hard because you need to be in perfect alignment to be able to do that. So for the majority of you out there, and exactly the same as the majority that was here today, my advice was simple, right? Don't just play this hoping game and wishing that your alignment becomes perfect to manifest what you want in life. Instead, go out there, take the real action, get into the hustle, get into the grind, get active, stop being lazy, stop procrastinating. If you're a procrastinator, it's probably a very, very big sign that you're not going to be rich one day. So anyway, guys, those are the seven signs. Anything that's disaligned with you, make sure to start aligning yourself towards what I just shared with you and then you will be a lot closer to what you want to attract in life. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, and also comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. And finally, if you're new to this channel, remember, remember, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it, because this year, I'm dedicated to making daily videos, even when there's a load of pizza going on here and the whole team's eating pizza, <laughs> but I'm gonna still spend time with you guys to get this video out there, because I'm dedicated this year to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make 2018 your best year yet. But for now, guys, <laughs> ciao.